So let's have a look at some of the problem solving that we're going to do in this synthetic division lesson. So we're trying to work out two different ones here. You can pause it and have a go on your own if you want, and I'll do the answers. But the first thing is, is this a factor of my cubic polynomial there? So if it is a factor, I want to, I want to see if there's a remainder. If it's a factor, there'll be no remainder. If it's not a factor, there will be a remainder. So all I'm doing is copying down my coefficients. I'm going to take negative 3 because I want that bracket to be equal to 0. And I do my synthetic division. So drop down 4 times 4 by 3, negative 12, negative 7, 21, 18, times by negative 3, negative 54, 39. Here we have a remainder, therefore not a factor. Simple as that. If I had a, a zero, then it would be a factor. So let's go on and do the next one. So first of all, I want that bracket to be zero. So x is going to be negative 3 over 2, not the easiest one to work with. Let's copy down my coefficients. I think that's supposed to be a squared. Minus 59. minus 30. Now we're doing this negative 3 over 2. Let's copy that first one down, which is a 6. Let's multiply negative 17 by ne sorry, negative 6 by negative 3 over 2, and we're going to get negative 9. Add those together, negative 26. Times by 3 and divide by 2. It's going to give me 13, 39, positive 39, give me negative 20, divide by 2, giving me 10, times that negative 10 times by 3, 30. Ah, so it gives me that lovely remainder of 0. But it also tells me that 6x squared minus 26x minus 20, that's also a factor. So actually, rather than it's equal to zero, I think it wants the, because it wants the zeros, I'm going to solve that equal to zero. So when I do that, and you can check this however you like, but it factorizes neatly to give me 3x plus 2 and x minus 5 equal to zero. So from the first bracket, x equals negative 2 over 3. In the second bracket, x equals 5. And we had the first factor given to us in the question. So the 0 is negative 3 over 2 as the final 0. So if you're looking for zeros, you're looking for when it's equal to, to 0. If you're just looking for factors, they're the ones that divide in.